ladies and gentlemen, it's Ice Blake here with another YouTube video. So today we're doing an unboxing and a review of a Marvo product. It's their HG9055 gaming headset. So for those of you who don't know Marvo, Marvo is a company in Shenzhen in China. And it has been around since 2010, so they're currently 10 years into producing gaming peripherals. Now, their claim to fame was that they actually make affordable gaming peripherals. So, they said that they want gamers to have good quality gaming peripherals at an affordable price. So we'll see how it goes and how it lasts because I'll be testing these extensively. I'll be gaming with them daily and then I'll be updating this review as we go and seeing if it is a really a good gaming headset for gamers. Okay, so let's look at some of the specifications of this HG9055. Uh, if we start here, it says that it has a virtual surround sound of 7.1, so this will be basically software managed. Uh, the frequency is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The speaker size is 50 millimeters. Uh, it has a speaker sensitivity of 125 decibels. The microphone type is an omnidirectional microphone. Uh, the cord is 2.2 meters, so that's quite long. That would be handy. And it has a backlit of seven colors. Uh, don't know why you would want that, but it's, it's on there. And then the OS support is from Windows 7 upwards. The site basically gives uh, all the same specifications. It is a USB connector though. And it uh, it'll basically do what I want to do. Uh, this review is not sponsored by Marvel in any way. Uh, I have been using Genius a headset, uh, a open headset and Logitech's headset and I have this problem as you can see I'm wearing glasses and the ears of my glasses versus my ear versus the cup of the headset causes me tremendous pain after about an hour or so of playing so the Headsets, cups normally press against my ear and my ear press against the ear of the glasses and then that forces into my skull and it really gets irritating after an hour or so of playing. So I was looking for a headset that can basically go over my ear and not press on my ear. Now the Marvo HG9055 promises that, that the cup is large enough to go over your ear and also the material is a softer, spongier type of material so it will not press as hard against your skull as the other ones would and also the headband design has been created for big heads. I don't have a big head actually if I think uh, my motocross helmet is a medium sized helmet so I don't think I have a oversized head though but uh, never had a problem with headbands on headsets it's just that the pressure that it puts on the ears of my glasses causes discomfort so yeah you don't want to game in discomfort it's supposed to be a awesome experience why do you want to do it in pain so I hope these boys fixes that for me. Um, also, I hope it's some form of decent quality. I mean, you still want to hear the footsteps while playing FPS games. And also, the mic is important though. I mean, that is not a deal breaker because you can add uh, a stand mic. But uh, I hope the package inside does what I needed to do. So, let's get this puppy open. Uh, just two stickers there. Got that. Ok, 
Okay, so inside we just got seven point one surround sound gaming headset HG nine oh five five. It's born for gaming. Well, we'll see. Inside it's just pictures basically of software. So it shows you what the software can do. You can set the mic. You can set the 7.1 speakers it seems like you can set the center to where it should switch up and down basically where the bass would be I suspect and then it has a basic uh, equalizer with four presets that you can set yourself we'll have to look at that download that because there's no CD with that and then it's just a bag with a with the headsets in okay firstly this looks it is soft it is soft that's brilliant okay omnidirectional mic can be moved and the cord is just a normal cord okay and the volume control is on the headset itself, it also has a mute button for the mic I see also on the headset itself. Now this can go, I mean you can fit a, a pretty large head into that. This makes space for any size head probably, I mean it's so big I think you can actually fit in two of my heads in here if, you, if this headband moves. The material is very soft, it's very comfortable almost, you know, it's something you would wear. I mean, and this looks like a sort of leather. It really looks like leather actually. I will have to go into that, but it does look like leather. One of my older game head it, it says that I, I did enjoy was uh, A Open. And it's like it has this plastic, it's like a fakish leather, but it's it's more plasticky. And I actually have them here. As you can see, that stuff comes off. It's nasty. And then it leaves you with a material cup, which is not bad. But I mean, why did they put this plastic, I don't know what it is. There's probably a name for that material. The other ones... The Genius had a fluffy material, so that's not bad, that can't come off, but it's not, it's, it's hard actually. The Logitech's also, they have uh, a harder leather. These were better in the sense that it didn't press that hard on the ears of my glasses. But these ones, let's just see, let's just see if it does go over your ears. It's sort of like a a noise cancelling. I can just hear silence now, but it's very soft. There's no pressure nowhere, and it's like there's actually space beneath the cups, but it doesn't press anywhere on my ear. My ear does fit inside of these uh, cups of the headset, so that's brilliant. That's what I wanted. The fit is awesome. I think I can game. Let's just move it up a bit. Still a little space at the bottom though. But it's pretty pretty nice fit. Even if I press it, it doesn't mm, cause any sort of pressure on the ears of my glasses. So this is brilliant. This is what I if this is not good quality in the sense of sound and the mic quality. This is something I have to now always look in to when I buy headsets. The cups should go over my ears and the material on the cups should be soft and spongy like this. This is brilliant. This is really awesome and soft. It's really, really, really a good experience just by putting it on because the other ones you could immediately feel when it starts pressing on your ears and on the ears of like that is a few seconds and I can really feel the pressure 
by doing that now the most of the headsets they tight they press and yeah it's not nice so this is already seems cool is USB it's a nice solid piece of cabling I do prefer it if it's braided it's just a little bit more protection I don't know if this yeah it's metal so that should last that should last a while we'll just let's just see what happens if you pop these into windows without any form of driver Okay, it's already picking up here. Uh, we're picking up a USB PNP audio device. So that's without any type of whoa, man. This is like a lot of cable. A lot of cable. These are very comfortable, I must admit. Okay, that is the backlight they've been talking about. Looks like it's the normal RGB sort of colors. It changes, it's going to a uh, green, then an aqua. Wait a second, this is funny. Okay, that's going to purple, then that one is aqua, then this one is. So, the cups are not synced, because that's red, now this is like a whitish, that is green, then that is not green. Still, that's not red, and that is uh, blue. So, I don't know why they would do that, but I don't know what the purpose of this is. I'm not going to see that. There's no rattles or anything. It's like a grit over this. Okay, let's just get a let's get a beat up here. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything there. Okay, Let's see if we get some sound on these puppies. They, there's no driver installed now, but we'll have a look at the driver. Download that. It's already these are very nice okay so I didn't want to end up screaming there because these are very noise counts cancelling in the sense that as soon as I put it up I can all the surrounding noise just disappear and uh, I can't hear myself speak clearly so I know I'm going to up my voice to hear myself speak and then I would end up screaming later on and also while playing the music I put it on max on the computer and also adjusted this to maximum to just see is it booming you know it's it's loud it's not excessively loud but I mean that might be due to not having the software so this is just uh, picked up as a normal audio device and uh, well the basics are there. There's, there, there, there's some bass there, there's clarity, there's no background noise, it's clear, it's, uh, it's sounds great. I mean, 
I can't detect any difference in what I've been using to this. I can't say that it's bad. I'll have to get into gaming. This is what this is for. It's supposed to be in-game, assisting me, communicating with my teammates, and hearing footsteps, you know. And it should be... Although it's 7.1 virtual surround sound, if it's just stereo so that it can differentiate that the footsteps is coming from this or that direction so that I can uh, react, you know. So that we'll test this in game just to see how it goes. Um, I'll have to do that on my desktop. It's currently on the laptop now, so I don't game on this one. Um, but yeah, so far so good. We'll have to test these puppies in game and then I'll, I'll also record that and just see how it goes. Ah, there you are. So, this is Ice Blade with Marvo HG 9055s on his head and uh, talking on the mic. So, like I said, omnidirectional mic, it is very sensitive. Uh, if you do hear like a humming sound in the background, I installed uh, AIO in my PC and I did a push pull config on it. So, it has two 120s pushing and two 120s pulling. So, it kind of, it's kind of noisy. It's not excessive, but the mic actually being so close to my PC, it's the, my arm length. I touch my PC, so it is close to the mic. I do try to actually set it down in sensitivity so it doesn't pick up everything because I can't hear it. It's a, it's like a noise counseling earphones. I think I have mentioned that, but it, it's good. You in gaming and you you're not distracted by things from the outside. I normally pick up when I do recordings that my child was screaming outside or was talking to someone or the dog was barking or something like that. I didn't even hear it. So maybe if your house is on fire, that won't be great. But uh, in gaming, I'm enjoying it. The mic seems to be clear enough for people to hear me in game and understand what I'm saying. And uh, if I have commands like, I'm on the fire, assist, assist they pick up I'm under fire assist so uh, I can do strange voices with this it still comes out clear and uh, did install the driver there was one issue actually the only issue I had with these so far was that they have two drivers on their site like you saw in the box there was no CD but uh, went to this site there was a 1.1 I think and a 1.2 and obviously, I mean, you want the 1.2, it's just now the, n the newer driver. Didn't want to download. It was downloading, and then it stopped and said the download was finished, but it was never finished. I, I actually asked someone else to try and download it for me, and I was just copied it from them. They had the same issue. So I ended up using 1.1 and thought, well, I'm going to email these guys, you know. Tell them. Listen, your link to 1.1, for me it's not working or it's not working in my country. I don't know if it's maybe blocked or something. But it starts downloading, says it's finished, it's not finished. And then they gave me an alternative link by email. I went on there, downloaded pretty fast, and it was done. So I do enjoy the way that I could actually send them an email and that I got a reply from someone and uh, assisted me in sorting out the problem. So that's good for a company that they have that contact between clients. Uh, I then got that 1.2. I can quickly show you it. It, it. it runs with Windows. So if you click on it, it opens up this little driver app program, which is brilliant because it has an equalizer built in. So you can set it the way uh, it has profiles that you can adjust the way you would want them. And that would basically enhance your listening quality in certain songs so I have s for like metal or rock or pop or whatever I change the equalizer to suit that music 
you turn your equalizer on and off doesn't matter it has a 3d i'm not sure the 3d is supposed to do s something for me it just makes the sound clearer it's not that there's a i don't know what's supposed to do but it just makes it clearer for me so i leave that on as well then you have effects like most equalizers do have you have theater bathroom living room corridor uh, i don't use that because it always has like a echoey sound to it so uh, i leave that your mic itself that's what i said i try to set it lower in sensitivity or sound because if you push it up to a hundred it does go loud so i don't like so much of the loud and i don't think you do either so i keep it at about 70. uh i think if you go to 50 it should actually be better I'm not going to do that now because I can't hear the difference and I might uh, be so uh, be talking and then you guys can't hear me. So, well, you can set it there, like I said. Then you have your virtual 7.1, which is brilliant. We have done tests and given people their earphones and like listen to this song and then you play around with the 7.1 sound because it has a center, like a it's the speaker now or illustration of a speaker because of virtual. And then you have left, right, left, right, center, uh, right, center, and then left back and right back. And then your sub in the middle. Now, what's brilliant about these things is you can pull your sub to your feet. It would lower the doof doof that it feels like it's, it's, it's down below. It really does do that. So, but I have it in the middle. So it's like where the hard ass, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, like it's in the middle where the good is. So, but what is cool about this is there is this CCW and CW. Now, that rotates the speaker. So, if you give it to someone and say, listen to this song, and you click on CW, it rotates to the left, I think. Yes. Then your speakers now starts turning. So, it's swapping the speakers. Now, my center is at my feet, and the left is switching. So, that's a, like a 3D environment the thing is moving if you press on cw it goes to the other direction and i just need to get my c in the center yes so that is awesome uh when you're listening to music or when you want to impress your friends it's, it's a nice feature but um, for me currently the uh, it's working i don't have any issues with it been pushing it in games i had like five plus hour sessions with it no discomfort it really is soft even if i do press on it it doesn't do anything uh this would like i said be the benchmark now for earphones after this if this doesn't last the next earphones need to be as comfy as these so they really comfy i have to give it to these guys this this is comfy earphones and this is what i want when i'm when i game you know it's not the best it's not the most expensive earphones you could get but i wanted comfort and wanted to game in comfort and if the mic is not professional quality i'm sorry guys but i mean <laughs> my ears is loving this so yeah it goes great you can also change the mics in any way in any any mic not just the marble one i mean for any mic that you plug into your system there's little apps and stuff that you can actually download for free and they fool your computer that the computer actually thinks that it's a driver being installed and then in your sound devices you select that as your main input device so that thing now needs to run every time you use your mic though but it has like an equalizer in there you can set your bass tones higher or your uh, like like a treble like the finer sounds a bit higher you can tweak it like you want or to fit your specific voice or to get the voice like pro microphones or stuff so there there's ways to do that i actually think in this recording software i'm running let's just quickly see here should be on a filters let's uh, yep there you go there you go so it's basically like this this is now uh, uh, add-on you put into the recording software 
It's called Vox and Go Marvel. It is a free driver app thing as well. And you can set your presets like you want. It has presets in like Brighter and Bassy and stuff. So I'll just show you that one. If we click on Brighter and Bassy, it changes the tone of the mic in any way. So if we go to mid boost it will change it in the middle a bit so that is well i will put on default default is like that seems to work for me if uh if you guys would prefer something else you can give me a shout in the comments and i will do it i mean it doesn't change the quality of the the mic itself it just changes the way it is interpreted on your side of the world so i don't see the point in going triple double the amount to pay for a better mic if this one gets the message across in game where i need to get it working this is supposed to assist me in gaming but yeah it's going to help in the videos as well i mean but that's that for 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 the marvo hg 9055s if you guys own this and have the same experience or different experience or have been playing with it longer i've been pushing it for more than a month now so it's still going strong it has hit the floor a couple of times still in one piece the two meter cable that i thought is brilliant actually for my setup it's too long so it ends up under the wheels of my gaming chair and stuff uh, it's not a gaming chair actually it's office chair but i mean it has wheels and i move back uh, then i find the cable is under there so i don't want to basically cut the cable with the wheels or something like that so yes two meter plus cable as is is a hassle if you're actually sitting right next to where it plugs in but it's there if you want to stand up and walk around uh, you're not going to be yanked back by your neck or by your earphones so yeah it is i can't fault it at this stage guys i mean this is a cheap earphone in comparison to what my buddies use um, i would love to have those because i've also tested them at their homes and it seems comfortable but like I said, it's thousands more, and I really can't say that it's that much better in quality. Miss maybe the mic, I mean, but I, like I said, you can tweak that. So I'll have to cut that short here, guys. This is my review for Marvo Scorpion HG 9055s. If you can, please hit that subscribe button. I need buddies on here so we can get this channel going, guys. And then also, if you found this review helpful, hit that like, man. If you have the same earphones, hit that like, man. If there's uh, something you need to know about the ones or my experience with it or any questions or you want the email or whatever, pop it down in the comments down below. If you had a different experience with it, please also, so we can get like a global picture of what these things do in different homes or different setups or with different people different head sizes this is massive this thing can go massive i mean this is crazy big so it can go smaller than a cat as well i put it on my child's head as well and uh fits in so that's it guys game on and let's get communicating because I play got I know mark and new earphones are comfy so I can out time you in games now. My ears and the ears of my glasses is not going to force me to quit the game early. See you in game guys.